When I decided to build a nuclear power plant in Satisfactory, I had to face reality. I'm a content creator. I couldn't just build any nuclear setup. I had to fully commit to a plutonium and fixonium plant that would fully process all of my waste. If you already processed uranium waste into plutonium fuel rods like I did, you're ahead of the curve. This is the most difficult liquid balancing act in the game for sulfuric acid, nitric acid, and water. If you're tempted to use the excess sulfuric acid from the uranium step like I did, note that even tiny imbalances will eventually shut down production. Take the time to work out the math before building the system. If all else fails, add a packager and sink to ensure they don't overflow. Same goes for water. Non-fissile uranium generates water as a byproduct, and if you don't get rid of it, production halts. Plutonium fuel rods last a full 10 minutes and produce far less waste than uranium, but burning them is the point of no return. If you decide not to sink plutonium fuel rods, they must be processed into fixonium and burned, or it'll keep irradiating your world forever. Creating fixonium fuel rods are the single longest production chain in the game, so I'd recommend doing all the non-nuclear steps back at your base and then droning it in. One iron ingot goes through no fewer than 10 machines to become singularity cells, which is combined with the plutonium waste to make fixonium, then into a fixonium fuel rod. This step is not difficult, just very long. Feed the rods into the nuclear power plant and you have more power than you'll ever need.